What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another collaboration beer, this time between Barncat Artisan Ales out of Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, and the Short Finger Brewing Company out of Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, and this is their pulp. So they're calling this one a clementine double IPA, which means this is a double IPA that is brewed with clementine juice and zest. Comes in at 8.2% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less in time of review. This can is just under three weeks old. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to two individuals, Sean and Andrew, for hooking me up with this one. So Sean was actually involved in the uh, making of this beer. I think this is the third year they've released this. Definitely at least the second, but maybe the third year they've, they've released this one. And Sean this year actually helped zest the clementine fruits, which is awesome. So he actually picked up uh, you know a bunch of cans and hooked up friends. And uh, he actually gave one to Andrew to give to me. So Sean bought the beer, picked it up, gave it to Andrew. And Andrew was kind enough to uh, drop it off at my house. So thank you to both of you guys. Really awesome. And I'm super excited to uh, give this one a go because I've never had it before. I've heard so many good things via Sean and other people. And uh, yeah, it just sounds like a delicious beer. And I can't wait to get into it. So hashtag proper glassware and uh, let's crack this one open. So now I've seen a lot of people drink this one, including Jamie from Basement Beer, a good friend of mine, former beer tuber at this point, but Jamie's an awesome guy. He really likes it. Obviously, Sean and Andrew, a lot of other people have enjoyed it. So I'm hoping that I enjoy it as well. Clementines are delicious. Oranges in general are delicious. And uh, this just sounds like it could potentially be delicious. So here we are. Anyway, yeah, pours out like a hazy. This is New England style through and through. Super murky and turbid. Honey orange color. I smell orange juice off the top. It smells like freshly squeezed uh, OJ. Crazy. But a finger of this off-white, creamy, super creamy colored looking head. That looks fantastic. Oh, let's get a nose. Oh. Oh my God, that smells so fucking fresh. Like just freshly squeezed OJ. Like just, you just took a bunch of clementine juice and even the, just add like you pretty much like a puree, like clementine puree. I'm getting a little bit of vanilla too. Not using lactose or not using vanilla, just a little bit of vanilla, maybe from the malt, maybe from the hops. I don't know what they hop this one with, so. Yeah, now I'm getting a little bit more of like a picky, zesty kind of citrus component. A little bit of like a grassy underlying, almost like dankness. Yeah, this is citrus through and through. A touch of like tropical fruit, like a like a stone fruit, like a peach or an apricot, but closer to the actual pit. Like not super sweet, just kind of there as the as the flavor and not the actual sweetness from the fruit. Yeah, I really dig that that clementine citrus, just freshly squeezed OJ zesty kind of uh, citrus fruit vibe to this one. Yeah, it smells fucking awesome. Cheers, everybody, and thanks again to Sean and Andrew. Really nice. That's really nice. Mm-hmm. Clementine's definitely there. That's cool. Cool beer. Mouth feels fucking superb. Soft, smooth, relatively creamy. Enough carbonation here to let you know it's a beer. Doesn't step in the way. The body on this one for 8.2% is really nice too. Higher side of medium body, body mouth feel, spectacular. Taste on this one. I wouldn't say it's one dimensional, but there's only a couple notes here, but they do it extremely well. Definitely clementine. I wouldn't necessarily maybe be able to tell you clementine oranges. Like I would just say in general, it has like a really nice zesty citrus component, more of an orange vibe, but it also has like orange juice character to it. And that's what hits you right at the forefront. Zesty, pithy, orange character. And then right after that, the juice comes in. So I almost get like the bitterness on the tip of the tongue or like the zestiness, the pithiness on the tip of the tongue. And then it goes through and it turns into juice. It turns into juice. And it continues on through the palate. A little bit of that stone fruit pops in, like I said, closer to the core of like a peach, like the, the pit of the peach. And the mid palate, a big dryness hits. This is like semi to almost full on dryness and a nice like mild to moderate bitterness. And I say mild to moderate bitterness a lot because I don't get a lot of like moderately to like high bitterness beers. This leans, I think, a little bit more to this the moderate side. So it has a nice bitterness, but the bitterness isn't like necessarily a hot bitterness. It's almost like a you know zesty, like almost like orange peel kind of bitterness. There's enough residual sweetness there to let you know, hey, this is a big 8.2% uh, IPA, but yeah, this is really good. Um, body mouth feel phenomenal. The taste really good. Uh, like I said, this is one of those beers, and I, I've said it 
a little bit more recently, but this is one of these beers that doesn't need to be complex to be good. This would be like the beer to kind of, this is like the, uh, you look in a dictionary, that would be this beer it, to a T. Because it only has like three characters, four characters max, but it's quite tasty. Yeah, so I'm going to give Pulp from Barn Cat and Short Throw a high 4.25 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.35 out of 5. Almost gets into the 4 range. It doesn't quite get there for me. I don't think the flavors are uh, like punching me in the face enough to get into a 4.5, but we're talking about, a, like, even if it did, I'd give it a 4.4. 4.35, 4.4, doesn't really matter, not really. This is a damn tasty beer. Yeah, and it goes down like water. 8.2%, no fucking way. It drinks like it's 6. A little bit of warming into the chest and the stomach by the palate, no way. Not astringent whatsoever from the alcohol or any other characters. Yeah, I mean, pretty much what they say on the label, Clementine Double IPA is pretty much what you get in the taste. You get the, you know, the IPA. Uh, that's one thing I didn't mention really. On the uh, nose, I was getting more like a almost grassy, like underlying dankness, and that kind of carries over. I didn't really mention it. it's kind of omnipresent, but it wasn't as bold and pungent on, on the uh, palate. So anyway, yeah, pulp. 4.35 out of 5. Uh, price and availability. Availability, pretty sure these were brewery only. And the price point, $7 a can Canadian. You uh, convert that to US dollars, you're looking at low $5 a can. Yeah, I'd pay that all day, every day. I mean, you're looking about $20, 20 to $21 a four pack. Yeah, that's kind of in the realm what I pay for something like this. The quality, the ingredients they're using. I know, <laughs> Sean, it was hours upon hours of zesting the Clementine. So the labor that goes into this and the quality of the product and whatnot, I think it's worth that price point. Might be a little bit pricey for some Canadians out there because $7 a can of anything, kind of pricey. But when you're talking about Barncat, you're talking about quality in general. Um, I don't think I've had a bad beer from them. And they're so small and not a lot of people know outside of like the Uber beer nerds in uh, Southern Ontario and in like Western New York. But these, these beers from them are like on par with a lot of the upper echelon uh, American breweries that I've had. And uh, yeah, they deserve to have more recognition, but maybe not. I know a lot of my friends like that, that they're smaller and they can get their hands on stuff. So I don't know. I say share it with the world, but I'm glad that Sean and Andrew shared this one with me. So thanks again to Sean for grabbing this one. Thanks to Andrew for dropping it off. And thanks to everybody stopping by. Another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had pulp before, let me know what you think about it. And uh, until the next review, cheers.